The SPD is entering the contest for the mandate to govern Germany. Frank-Walter Steinmeier is the party's candidate for chancellor, running against incumbent Angela Merkel. The SPD hopes its new election manifesto will help him stamp his mark on the campaign. Those who don't just want to complain, who want to shape the future and make good policies for Germany, they should govern. I want to do that as Chancellor. One day before Steinmeier officially started his election campaign, the party executive agreed on a platform with an apparent ease that surprised many observers. The party program is tailor-made for Steinmeier. Ich finde I think the program we've submitted is a good one. It has a cutting edge and contains real policy, open policies that are not hidden. They're policies that provide orientation and direction, everything we need this year. If the SPD wants even a shot at governing, it will need political allies. The program must give the party a distinct profile, while being attractive to as broad a political spectrum as possible. I think it shows they're considering coalitions in all directions. That means there are things that the left party is demanding, attacks on assets, for example, that are absent. Having that in a party platform could later become an impediment to forming a grand coalition, or perhaps a coalition with the Greens or the Free Democrats. The program leans to the left, but not too much. The SPD wants to win back voters from the left party, while not scaring off others. For Steinmeier, the manifesto means more social justice by boosting income tax for high earners. When one bank manager earns as much as 500 nurses, the proportions are skewed. That's when people feel it's no longer fair. The financial crisis has fueled public anger over perceived social inequalities. That's prompted the Social Democrats to take positions left of center that would have been untenable when Gerhard Schröder was chancellor. Still, the party's left wing is being cautious. What's important for the SPD's left wing is that there's broad consensus within the party and that Frank-Walter Steinmeier's position as leading candidate remains undamaged, so they're holding back. But analysts say the SPD doesn't want another grand coalition with Angela Merkel's CDU anyway. The SPD's shift to the left is a done deal. The program they've submitted is a platform for a coalition with the Greens and the left party at the federal level. The SPD has clearly shifted left. But the Social Democrats have ruled out a coalition with the left party. Because their public approval ratings remain low, they're looking to the Greens as a preferred coalition partner. We've noticed that the SPD has adopted many green policies that they opposed while in government. When the SPD is trying to present itself as green, the message is simple. The original is better than a last-minute copy. But right now, polls aren't giving the SPD and Greens a majority. So the SPD has expressed potential interest in a three-way coalition with the Free Democrats. The FDP is unimpressed. Their program is written for the left and certainly not for an alliance with us. On the basis of this program, it's out of the question. But Richard Stöss says everything could change after the election. It's normal to attack the other party's policies during an election campaign. The question is, does the other party's program contain insurmountable obstacles for the Greens, for example, or for the FDP, or even the CDU? And to be honest with you, I can't see any. The SPD's first task is to convince its own voters. The party's approval ratings stand at just 25 percent. A lot needs to change before the elections in September. That's why it's so important to bring everyone along and convince everyone you can to go out and vote. Steinmeier was known as a technocrat, but these days he goes over much better with party supporters. Very good. I feel a lot of encouragement for this year. They're running to win, not just compete. Excellent. I think his speech was exactly right for the start of the election campaign. Steinmeier, however, will need to do more than just win over the party faithful. He's also got to overcome an incumbent chancellor who enjoys considerable popularity. The SPD knows it's facing an uphill struggle.